CSIS is warning that the anti-gender movement is posing a threat of extreme violence to Canadians. And this risk will continue throughout the year, especially as Canadian politicians and premiers are enacting more anti-trans and anti-LGBTQ legislation. CSIS making these statements after Alberta's new policies on gender-affirming surgeries and pronoun preferences. And let's not forget that this has happened here before. Don't forget about the University of Waterloo student who actively went into a gender studies class with a knife last summer. And it's not all conservative premiers. For example, Doug Ford hasn't seemed to have gotten lost in the anti-trans rhetoric, and he's also been showing up to pride parades recently up in York Region, which is something that even three or four years ago would have been completely unfathomable for the Ford family. But there is a real threat of violence for LGBTQ individuals, especially in provinces like Alberta and Saskatchewan. When governments actively make laws limiting the rights of LGBTQ individuals, that only emboldens those who have hate in their hearts. And the problem is that many conservatives across the country are embracing the anti-gender movement, with Pierre Poilievre also saying that he's supports the banning of puberty blockers. Puberty blockers, which by the way, were invented not for trans kids, but for cis children. Children who had precocious puberty or otherwise had other hormonal imbalances. And as we know from decades of research, puberty blockers are 100% reversible. But instead, conservative politicians like Pierre Poilievre and Daniel Smith choose to lie about their function. They make vague statements about how many kids are getting surgery or using meds, even when they don't actually have those numbers. This is incredibly important, especially as most people under the age of 18 who use puberty blockers or otherwise get top surgery aren't trans, because there are valid medical reasons why a non-trans person would have these surgeries or use these medications. But that won't stop these politicians from lying and increasing the threat of extreme violence in our country.